Very good morning. Welcome to Chart Buster as well. This is the show where we highlight all the buzzing stocks of the day. Also get you some expert opinion on how you can capitalize and trade. All that and more in the next half hour. I'm Nigel Souza, and with me is Mangla Malu. Hey, Mangla, I think I've got the color wrong. There's uh, plenty of red on the screen, actually. We've had two down days. Last couple of days, we sold off in the final hour of trade. Today, in the first hour of trade itself, we're sitting with a cut of around 55. As an optimist, you'll be hoping maybe we'll do a reversal of sorts. Last hour of trade, you see a bit of a surge. But as we speak, you know, plenty of pain in the markets. Frontliners, broader markets, the rupee as well trending back towards that 71 odd bar. Absolutely. Plenty of pain. And uh, remember, it is also the first Nifty weekly options expiry. So I was just taking a look at a few active strikes. Uh, the bears believe that, uh, you know, 10,800 is their territory because 10,800 just for today, 18 lakh shares added out there. And remember, weekly options expiries are usually writer's markets because yeah. the sort of premium that you get because of the lack of time or uh, the time value that you earn. 18 lakh shares out there written. 10,850 was the one that they wrote a little more. But the bulls believe, OK, let's see whether we can defend the 10,700 mark or not. Because the 10,700 mark, the 10,700 put that is, has added close to around 10, 10 and a half lakh shares. So maybe it's the range between 10,700 to 10,800 where the fight is. And any beyond that on either side, up or down, could there be some more volatility? You know, uh, Manglap, I'm looking at this 10,700 put very, very closely. Mm -hmm. There could be an element of buying also there. Because it's only 5 rupees stream, right? Yep, 5, 6 absolutely. rupees. So that there could be an element of buying out there. But as Manglam said, yes, that appears like it's the broad range because both those two strikes, most active. 10,800 call on the upside, nearly around 20 lakh shares there. And on the downside, 10,700 put as well. So we'll keep an eye out on that mark. But let's kick start the show with the top stories. Absolutely. All the top stories that we're tracking this morning, it is Yes Bank that posts its biggest intraday gain ever. The big overhang gets out of the way as the RBI finds no divergence in its asset classification and provisioning for its FY18 loan book. And India Bulls Housing Finance sees a rub off effect of the Yes Bank news, while DHFL under pressure as Harshal Mehta resigns in the post of joint MD and CEO with immediate effect. Oil marketing companies post big losses as Brent crude hovers near the $64 per barrel level on the back of global inventory going down. And Repco Home Tanks reports the highest loan growth in six quarters due to a low base. But core earnings remained weak. The NPA spike up as well. NBCC2 sulks on the back of week quarter three. The margins come down to 2.9% in comparison to the poll of more than 5%. Karur Vesya Bank uh, hits lower circuit, currently trading with an 18% cut as the management guides for slippages of rupees 1850 crores. That forms nearly 4% of the books in the next five quarters. Okay, all right. How do you trade the Nifty from here? We're down already around 55 points odd. Have you missed the shorting opportunity or can you go short even here? Ashmi Gujral joins in uh, to give us his take on the Nifty. Ashmi, go ahead. Tell us a call at 10.30 a.m. Well, uh, you know, in the morning, uh, you had a bit of a rally uh, which you could have gone short on. The issue is that, uh, uh, you know, you now have about... 100 odd points uh, till 10,600, 650. So, uh, you know, you will have much more choppy action rather than uh, the straight falls. So, uh, shorting here may not have uh, great value. If we do get an intraday move of 25, 30 points, I think uh, that would be a better place to go short at. Uh, overall, uh, you know, large stocks are also now facing selling. So individual stocks are probably the better way to go. Uh, IGL is a buy with a stop of uh, 275, target of 290. LNT Finance is a sell with a stop of 124, target of 110. And uh, Canfin Home is a sell with a stop of 254, target of 236. Ashwini, I'm looking at one stock from the financial space which is outperforming the, uh, the the industry as we speak right now in terms of a stock price move, and that is Bharat Financial Inclusion. Up around 2% at the high point of the day in an otherwise wobbly market, so to say, for all the NBFCs. We've seen a, lo a lot of them taking a large knock. In that regard, how do you view this price movement of Bharat Financial Inclusion and where does it go? Because remember, the third quarter results were good. 
See, results have not mattered uh, mm -hmm. in the market. And uh, basically, uh, today for some reason, Indusin Bank and Bharat Financial are higher. But uh, I would think uh, buying near, say, 830 to 850 may be a better place to get into Bharat Financial. Overall, there isn't a great strong trend here. I mean, if you want to buy certain banks, maybe HDFC Bank and Kotak, you can use today's declines to buy into them. This is trading below its 200-day moving average, so nothing significant here. All right, Ashwini. Thanks a lot for joining in and giving us your views. We'll keep coming back to you through the course of the day. But uh, your disclosures would be what? Uh, we don't have uh, too many positions right now. All right. Thanks a lot, Ashwini. Uh, with that, uh, here's something for all our viewers. Watch out for the biggest event of the year, the News 18 Rising India Summit, to be held in New Delhi on February 25th and 26th. This is one platform where you can catch all the biggest newsmakers of the country, from the Prime Minister Narendra Modi, BJP President Amit Shah, to the Opposition Chief Ministers Kamal Nath and Bhupesh Bhagel. Along with a whole host of union ministers will be Bollywood and sports icons like Deepika Padukone and former coach of the Indian cricket team Anil Kumble. That is the News 18 Rising India Summit in New Delhi on February 25th and 26th. Mark your calendars.